Did you at any time administer digoxin or any other drug to a child that was not prescribed for the child? No, I didn't. It was a case that shocked Canadians in the early 80s. The allegations were unthinkable. After dozens of babies in the cardiac unit of the Hospital for Sick Children mysteriously died, a young nurse was charged with first-degree murder in the deaths of four of them. Lorne Honickman, now a lawyer, reported on the case for City News. When you hear about now allegations against another nurse, um, it does make you remember back to when a nurse here in Toronto charged with murdering at the most world-renowned children's hospital for babies, almost unheard of. Susan Nellis was accused of deliberately administering lethal doses of the heart drug digoxin. A preliminary hearing began in July of 82 and was one of the longest in Canadian history, lasting 41 days. Finally, a judge unconditionally dismissed all charges against Nellis for lack of evidence. But it was not over. A royal commission was appointed, known as the Grange Report, and looked into the deaths of 43 babies. Nellis took the stand in her own defense. Grange concluded that at least eight babies did die of lethal digoxin levels and once again exonerated Nellis. But the young nurse had already been through hell, appearing on newspapers across the country. It's hard to know what it was like and what it's been like for Susan Nellis since then. I'm certain one could extrapolate that today when she hears the news about another nurse being charged in another part of the province, she, I'm sure, is probably thinking back to her own life back then and what it was like for her and how the presumption of innocence is so important. Wait until this case plays through the courts. That's what Susan Nellis went through, and I'm sure she would say, let's let this particular person go through that as well. No one else was ever charged in the baby deaths. It's now widely believed no murders were ever committed, and that a chemical that mimics digoxin was leaching from syringes and IV lines used on the babies, and that was the cause. Nellis lives in her hometown of Belleville, where she and her husband raised three children. She continues to work as a nurse. Pam Seidel, City News.